My name is Natalie Perez, and I have an interview with the main frontman of punk rock legends, The Addicts, on April 26, 2012. First off, can you introduce yourself and give us a brief history of the band for those who may not know who you guys are? Yeah, well, my name is Monkey. Um, I'm the one with the strange makeup and the strange clothes. <laughs> um, the band has been around since uh, like late 1976. We first uh, got together, and uh, we still have uh, three of the original members in the band today. Cool. I remember I had got to see you guys, I think in 2006, when you had toured alongside the Misfits. That was a pretty interesting combo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had good fun with those guys on the road. We, we did a bit of speech with them. Had a good time. <laughs> uh, you have been a band for nearly 40 years. What comes to mind? Where does the time go? Yeah, like, what do you think? Like, man, I've been around for this long. <laughs> um, no, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't feel <laughs> like it's. You know, when you look at the statistics, it is, but it, it doesn't feel like we've been around. Mm -hmm. You know, too long yet. Um, still, still enjoy it. Just enthusiastic, energetic about what we do. So you know, that's what counts. Dates don't really mean too much. <laughs> All right. Um, so tell me, how did the signing with DC Jam Records come about? Um. Well, they were invited. To uh, come see a show, my old manager, mm -hmm. known of them through some uh, work they did on Fishbone, I think, and uh, they came along to the show, and I think it was House of Blues in LA, or it may have been Anaheim, I don't know, um, and uh, they were interested, so we just kind of started a dialogue and, you know, kind of like their approach to things, and uh, we hadn't really been on a, a label as such in, a, in quite a while. We've just had some licensing deals. You know, mm -hmm. what did this as well, but this, uh, these guys seem to, you know, seem to have the right approach and a, a good attitude, and, you know, we're looking forward to working together. Cool. Sounds very exciting. <laughs> How does it feel to be on your 10th album? Um, yeah, we're looking forward to it, excited about it. We're, you know, uh, playing songs, uh, you know, individually. We, we don't uh, hit myself and me, the songwriters, perhaps more of those two than me, more of the lyricists. Kids in England, so we don't really get together and, um, get our ideas together until mm -hmm. uh, you know, we meet up. Or, um, we have a few shows coming up in May, and then after that we're going into the studio. So we'll have some time together to, you know, work on some stuff. But the way we usually do it is just kind of write it in the studio. Make it up as we go along, basically. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're going to be working with... Derek O'Brien, what do you think he will bring to the table for the addicts? Um, I hope he'll bring lots of beer. <laughs> uh, also, I mean, yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's experienced and talented. He's worked with, uh, you know, different genres of music, not not just punk rock, and uh, it's good to have a, uh, uh, an outside opinion. We haven't, we haven't worked with a producer. Mm -hmm. Um, well, Last album, we actually had a, a real producer on it. I think it was uh, Mark Allen. You know, a long time ago, we've already we've done it ourselves since then. We'll be. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, producer from within the band. Um, so we just thought it was it was a good time to you know bring in fresh ideas, see things from a different angle, and uh, you know hopefully uh, you know make some good ideas. Where do you plan to record the album? It's in 
and Derek's studio. He's it's based in uh, Santa Fe Springs. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, who writes the songs, and what are your songs planned to be about on this album? Have any good ideas? Oh yeah, we all have individual ideas. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we don't, we haven't gotten together and kind of uh, put those ideas together and. Uh, Developed any songs as such yet? We just have our own individual concepts, and, um, and then we will just bring it all together when we when we get to the studio. Um, so right now we don't know what the songs are. Mm -hmm. It's just some, some riffs and some lyric ideas kicking uh, around. Um, the actual songs won't come together until we're we're in the studio, so we don't really have a concept or, or a direction. You know, they're just what it would be, <laughs> more, more of a natural process, just um, writing songs together and taking them to the studio after they've been rehearsed and rehearsed for weeks and weeks, I'd like to keep it fresh and alive and, you know, and uh, exciting for us, because it can be a, a, a tedious process in the, in the studio if you're just banging out songs that rehearsed over and over again, so this way it's a, it's a surprise to us what's going to happen. We don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Do you feel any pressure that might, you know, hang in there once you guys enter the studio, or you don't even care? You're just going to go with the flow? <laughs> no, no, there's, there's no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um... It's been three years since your last release, Life Goes On. Why such a long gap between albums? Um, I don't know, we were just boring and, uh, I don't know, just waiting for the right moment, really. We don't, we're not a very prolific band. Mm -hmm. And ten albums in 35 years is not a huge catalog of songs, but... We don't like to make music for the sake of it, like, the time to be right. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> what inspires you to do what you do? Well, these days it's uh, each other, each other uh, interested and uh, excited about, you know, tools and new projects like a new album or something like that and, um, and then it's uh, getting out there and, and playing really uh, um, meeting people and being able to you know give them a good time <laughs> about enjoying yourself really is <laughs> the main uh, aim of it all really I think you know, if you don't if you're having fun then why bother yeah, just living life and having fun. <laughs> yeah. Does the addicts have any more goals that they want to achieve, or have they met them all? Um, no, there's still some. We, we still have ambition. We like other parts of the world. We like to explore. Um, we like to make some money. That would be nice. <laughs> No, just keep going. We're very lucky to be still be able to do it, and we really, you know, we thank all the all the fans that come out and see us, and you know, our records and our T-shirts. Because we, you know, without them, we wouldn't be be able to do it. And, uh, we consider ourselves very lucky to be still in that position after all this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about you personally? You mentioned at the start of the interview that. You're, of course, the singer, and you wear those crazy outfits. Do you personally make those outfits, or do you buy them online? Because I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of stuff comes online or from thrift stores. Mm -hmm. and, um, but then I kind of redesign and add things and kind of make them my own, really. Cool. How many outfits would you say that are in your personal collection? that you take with you out on the road when you tour and stuff? Um, 
Well, it, it kind of depends on the length of the tour. I like to have enough backups for things go wrong or things get stolen, as it's happened before. So, um, I always make sure I've got uh, backup clothes and um, I, you know, I don't know what I'd do if I arrived at a show and uh, my suitcase was closed and makeup missing, so I'm always, uh, I don't get nervous about that when we fly or something like that. If, if we're worried about things arriving on time or things getting lost. That's a character I play, and it, it's packed away in a suitcase every night. I don't know. I like being able to, you know, adopt a persona. He said, what else for a while, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not really like the guy on stage all the time. Imagine that. <laughs> that would be a bit crazy. <laughs> I bet it would be crazy. <laughs> Um, what more can we expect from you guys, as far as this year, you know, goes? Um, well, we're doing a little run in May, which is largely, uh, East Coast and Midwest. And then we're ending up with the Punk Rock Bowling Festival in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um, then we're in the studio, right after that, for, uh, two or three weeks, probably. Um quite a couple of months in the summer, and then hopefully the album will be released around September, when we have uh, another run, which will include uh, a couple of ballet shows, Orange County, uh, San Francisco, and then we have to, uh, Chicago for uh, stuff out there, more shows. Florida, and then to South America, I think. Well, it looks like you're going to be super busy from now until the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, keeps you busy and entertained. You're not going to be bored. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and lastly, would you like to add or say anything else? Um... No, not really, just uh, looking forward to getting back on the road and meeting all our friends and having a good time. 